Hello my lovelies, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is going to be your monthly. I will timestamp each sign in the comments below. We're going to start with the sign of Gemini. Let's see what we've got going on for you. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, your theme for the month is imagination. So I feel like you need to maybe think outside the box, maybe get creative on something this month, and your imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. So start thinking creatively. Uh, air signs govern the mind, and so I think positive thinking can help you to come into alignment with what's really important to you, maybe things that need to change. So what is it that you can get creative? about what can you use your imagination for this month Gemini Sun Moon Rising and Venus what do we need to know for them for the month of August please there we go all right we start with teamwork makes the dream work maybe you're gonna collaborate on some sort of new project and I feel like it is a creative project I love the depiction on this card they're like I don't know creating some sort of tapestry it looks like and crocheting or um, I can't tell it's too tiny but they're they're definitely working together to create something beautiful so I feel like it's important that you step outside the box and get creative juices flowing in order to actually achieve your goal all right there could be some sort of illusions that are revealed to you in this month um, we have several planets that are in retrograde at that time we have mercury so the planet of communication so things can be wonky with that be really crystal clear with how you communicate tech issues car trouble things like that from the 5th to the 27th Uranus so uh, major transformative energy Neptune the planet of illusions illusions being revealed and Saturn the planet of karma so there could definitely be some things that need to change energetically in that time frame and I feel like if anything is out of whack or imbalanced that that is going to help to be restored you might need some shadow work in that time frame as well some inner work and reflection so you can decide what it is you want to do about the next chapter and for some of you you're gonna have to take action be brave and find your confidence and go forward there's some sort of self-imposed restriction so I feel like you're gonna have to see that for what it is for some of you there's a situation that's toxic or there's strings attached some sort of hidden agenda and you need to be cautious with that for some of you your divine counterpart is coming in I feel like you might be creating a life with this person but we need to find the balance so we have to let something go in order to achieve that you can't juggle forever the timing is a factor at this point so whatever the delay has been is going to prove necessary there could be somebody else involved i feel like there could also be um a lot of overthinking in this situation about letting go of a toxic situation so don't overthink that use your logic the change needs to happen so be willing to embrace that change and if you need to retreat and cut some people off do so kind of put up some boundaries it's going to be important the biggest thing I see is that there is a lot of letting go in your next couple of weeks. I feel like there's places where you're going to need to reflect. There's places where you need to take action. There's places where there's creative juices flowing in collaboration. There's places where the harsh truths and the reality starts to stare you in the face. Use your logic. Know that any delays that are put in your path are for a reason for you to make adjustments. And I feel like the change will be worth it for you. You might be meeting your divine counterpart in the next four weeks. Libras, let's see what we have going on for you for August. What is Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus's monthly theme to focus on? Oop, there it is. All right, peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So I feel like you're working on going towards your peace. I love how this card blends into my outfit. So that's awesome. So we're starting to go towards things that bring us that serene energy. I feel like um, negative thinking can be something that stifles that. And so we want to really keep our thoughts positive. So you might be expressing things, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, um, creative thinking, but really going towards something that is much better suited for you. So that's an important lesson to learn this month. All right. You might be manifesting some things. The Queen of Wands is seen as somebody who's very alluring. She's very captivating. I feel like your energy kind of reverberates out into the universe where people are like, oh, I just really like being in their energy. And so you might have a lot of attention on you at this time, but she's also a master manifester. So bringing those things into her 3D reality. 
For some of you, it's love. It could be a new relationship coming in. They want you to choose them. It also requires a sacrifice of walking away from things that were destructive and not good for you. So I feel like you're making a conscious decision to go towards something that's peaceful and happy and something that brings you excitement and joy and leaving toxicity and things that brought you to rock bottom in the past. No more shedding tears over this situation. It's time to finally leave it behind. This is part of your spiritual growth and ascension. Judgment being out here tells us you might have to shift your perspective. There could be a change of heart. There's some sort of finality to this as well as it could be things like karma being dealt. All right, a wish fulfillment is coming in. It happens in divine timing. You might be in solitary energy for a little while and I think you need that. The wait is almost over for these things to change, so have some more patience. You have the king of swords in the reverse, so I feel like he can be kind of a tyrant. He can be someone who lashes out. He can be somebody who's really cold and abrasive, and while he's really smart, he's also not always very emotional, and that could be something that's lacking, so I feel like you're looking for the opposite. There is some self-imposed restriction. Are you ready for new love when it comes in? And there is some creative energy that's flowing through you. I feel like you almost need to embrace some creative pursuits. Your dreams could be telling you things right now, but the Ace of Wands is all about creation and something new. I feel like there's been delays around movement, and so you might be wanting to go in a new direction, maybe travel, relocate, and for whatever reason, there's been a delay around that. I feel like the delay is gonna prove necessary, However, when the delay actually is removed, I feel like there's forward progress and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So allow the changes to happen in divine timing and I feel like you need to trust your intuition. Don't overthink it. This is part of your spiritual journey and it could lead to your forever person. Have a great month. Aquarius, my aqua sauce, what do we have going on for you for August? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Aquarius. What is their lesson they need to focus their energy on in August, please? There we go. Change. And this came out in the reverse. Do you fear change? Is there something in your life that needs to change that you are still holding on to? I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So the change is necessary. Otherwise, we stay stuck and stagnant. And that's very boring, right? So we need some change in our life. All right. What does Aquarius need to know? My aqua sauce. What do they need to know? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Aquarius, what do we need to know about this change for the month of August? Ooh, it's divinely guided. Okay, I don't think you're going to have much choice. It's like shit or get off the pot this month. So Spirit is taking the initiative to cause things to change. So I feel like for some of you, this could be something you've wanted or something that you've tried to manifest. And I feel like Spirit is like literally taking the reins and they're going to lead the way for this change to occur. And it leads to a lot of happiness. Wow. Okay. Um, I would expect major changes and don't think that anything is impossible in the month of August because I feel like you're going to have your socks blown off. It could be a new partnership coming in. The sun card is a fresh start and a new beginning. It's marriage. This person is very financially set and stable, could be a business owner. They're loyal, they're trustworthy, but they take a little while to kind of get going towards their goals. And so slow and steady wins the race with that person. But one of you is faced with a decision. So you have to see this situation clearly in order to choose a path. Part of that requires change, letting go of things that aren't serving your highest good, backstabbing, betrayal, rock bottom. Those are things you need to leave behind because this new chapter, those people cannot go with you. You're going towards abundance, a fresh start, a new beginning, potentially a new partnership, and it's self-imposed restrictions. So it's time to leave those doubts and fears behind and allow the change to happen. The king and the queen of pentacles. You might be meeting your match. You could be meeting through business and work. You both might have worked very hard to build an empire. I feel like you're both kind of looking for similar things. There is a chance for creativity as well as following your passions and new beginnings. Judgment being out here, the divine is really taking control of the reins this month for you. And I feel like this is part of your spiritual path that it's like all of a sudden things just start to fall into your lap like a lot of work has paid off. The wait is almost over. Know that the delays will prove to be necessary. I can't get the words out today. And that you need to really follow through with these changes because you're tired of spending all this energy crying and worrying about what's going on. Lots of overthinking. So how do we break that? 
we're gonna have to step into a leadership position I feel like I feel like the divine is gonna either put someone in your path or give you the confidence and courage in order to conquer your fears because they wish for things to change for you to get you to this next level you have a lot of abundance trying to come in you have a fresh start and a new beginning you have potential for marriage and partnership coming in so it's time to actually change and understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So it's time to get moving. Have a great month. We'll see you soon.